Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here and welcome back to Let's Replay Icewind Dale the Enhanced Edition and when last we left off we are now even further into the gloom frost. We spent a long time talking with an ancient, blind, and exceptionally skilled dwarven blacksmith who made some cool things for us. They made us the hand of the gloom frost which is an ice sword that's not melting. You could say it's a very ice blade. Eh? Eh, never mind. We also got this here. The ice rose, which we'll be giving to the bard in Lonelywood. And we also have the mirror of black ice. This mirror is composed of black ice with jagged edges. It seems unremarkable, although it tends to distort the reflection of anyone who gazes into it. Ready. We also Ready. got a list of instructions for the necromancer on Burial Isle. For that axe that we have. Is that all? Now let's go over here. Oh wow! There was a trap! I triggered a trap, so I need to be on the lookout yes. for traps. Mm -hmm. Easy as oh, it's hard. gonna be one of those kind of dungeons with natural traps. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, is there anything up here except a loop that will lead to trouble? The answer is probably not. So if we get to a big open area like... Th Hi! I you just appeared out of nowhere. Literally. How much of that damage did you resist, by the way? A fair bit of it. Right. There's another one coming. Let's get you... With... So, scorching rain. That'll hurt you a fair bit. Right. Switch to this weapon. And this one's, yep, dead. Now we can hit you. And finish you off. Should not be difficult, considering we did a lot of fire damage to you. And fire damage will indeed hit you harder. Also, you yes. need a bit of healing, Yona, because that hurt. Yeah, Magdus took some hits as well, and everyone's a little bit hurt, apart from uh, Nerathana, who regen, but you need the healing first. Okay, back to trap finding. Ready. So really using our bow here is not going to be very useful because of all of the resisted damage. Better off just using the sword. The sword, I might add, that you have minus one Thacko with. Minus one. Easy as goblin pie. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Before I move any further, is there anything loot-wise in here? No. Is this even the way I'm meant to... Hi! Hey, you need me? No. I like that they're marked on the map. That's really nice. Easy as goblin pie. That's really nice. Yes! Hmm? Right, Easy forward. Oh, 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 back, 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 back. Right. Let's go to work. Indeed. Fire this. I am by your side. Fire that. I... That'll help. That'll help a lot. Oh, that helps a lot. Flame arrow is really good against these. Okay. Focus Ready. on the one that's nearly dead. Focus on that one. I need you to help in that regard. That's a lot of da- Oh! You froze him. Well, doesn't matter, because the owner just gained a level! Marvelous! Okay. Hit this one. And... Flame arrow here, just to destroy it. Oh, not dead yet. Not dead! Okay, come on. I'm here. We need Ready. you to finish this off. Do that. You have need of me. Do this. Get a little bit more. Okay, good, good, good. Right. You back up. Back up. Oh. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Okay. What is your will? Get a little bit of a distraction. Go that was a good hit, by the way. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. That was a great hit. Part of that would have been right. Core, because Core's using a blunt weapon, and because they're made of ice, they don't really get that much resistance Ready. from it. Right. What? Healing, because we need to do some healing. Um, you. And we all 
also definitely need to heal Magnus, because Magnus took a lot of damage there. These are not easy foes. Not easy foes. Also, we might as well have uh, Core heal himself as well. Took a bit of hurt there from that Scorcher. What is it? Keep calling it Scorching Ray in my head. It's not Scorching Ray in this game. Mm -hmm. The name is different. Right. Let's heal the Cleric, who only has 70 health, I might add. Like, some of the party have uh, near 100, or in the case of Magnus, over 100, but not, not the Cleric. Cleric's been sort of poodling along with 70-odd. Makes him a bit vulnerable, even though he has ridiculous hey, armor class. Right. Leveling up. A proficiency point. Right. So we can't do that anymore. What do we take? Dagger? Could take dagger. We have been saving up for a dagger. So let's take a dagger, and if we get any good extra daggers, we can use them. Right. So let's let's put... 10 points into Hide in the Shadow and 10 points into Move Silently that we're not ever going to use. And then 5 points into Set Traps. So we have a decent uh, selection of skills. Excellent. So you're doing pretty well. Level 16. 93 hit points. Not going to complain at how awesome you are. I'm going to complain about these Ice Sentries. They're not Ice. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, they are Ice. Oh, we have another level. Didn't even notice your level. Ooh. Okay. So we have another... Hmm. What do I give you? What do I give you? Huh. Hmm. You know what? We're going to stick with long swords pretty much, but we can... We can diversify a bit. If we find a decent one of these, we could use it. Or a katana. No, oh, you already got katanas. Uh, there is axe. Hmm. You know what? Go with axe. Go with axe because we have in this bag. Uh, where is it? Uh, has it been moved? Where is the? Uh, the Rage Axe. It's somewhere in here. There it is, Young Rage. Yeah, it's a great axe. It, it's just, sorry, it's just a, it's a one-handed axe, so we could give this to you. Ooh, this is tempting. This is very tempting. A little, little bit of thought there. And we have the potential for a really powerful, powerful bard. More powerful than Giordia. She already has the power of knowing every single item ever. Right. There's going to be a trap here of some variety. I don't really want to explore that middle area. Eh, there it is. Don't want to explore that middle area, but I feel like I'm going to have to. I feel like I'm going to have to. Right. Forward. Oh, hello. Back. It's you lot again. Right. Focus all of your spells on... One person. Uh, you know what? Cast Melf's Mighty Meteors. That will be more useful than uh, anything else because they're fire. I'm here. I'm here. They're all fire. And they'll hurt. A lot. Just need to. There we go. I'm here. Just do that, and this, and then we'll fire magic missiles. Should be able to- oh! Back up, back up, back up! Of course, you got hit a lot, but you can't get past! Oh, no, no, no. Don't get into melee. Yes. Don't get into melee! Woo! Speak. Yeah, she takes a lot of hurt, but then again, anyone would take a lot of hurt from those. Minus 8 armor class clearly is not enough! Need like minus 50 million! And even then, you'd still get hit by a 20. Even I, then, a 20 I... would still hit you. Okay, is there anything up there that makes exploring in this little alcove worth it? No. It's just an ambush. It's just an ambush waiting to happen. All of this is just an ambush waiting to happen. Okay. Ready. Onwards. 
This seems like an ambush area too. Yep. There's only one though. Attacking? Yeah, you're attacking Iona. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you attack Narathana. Yeah, go after Narathana. Go after Narathana. Yes. Excellent. Go after Narathana because Narathana is better able to take the damage. Yep. There we go. We need Narathana to be the one to tank. That way, you can use your better armor class. Kiko, using strategy. Happens more often than you think. So what's up here? I feel like up here leads to this. Then again, that area may... I'm starting to feel like that area over there is just, like, separated out. So I'm actually going to backtrack and fill in that part of the map. You never know, that might be the one area where there are goodies. I actually doubt there are any goodies, considering the game just handed me an extremely powerful plus four weapon. For free. All I had to do was ask about it. And I had my choice, which reminds me of how Stonekeep did it with the final ultimate weapon, where it shifts forms and you can have it be any blade or axe or any weapon you like that you're proficient with, so that you have a weapon that is truly your ultimate weapon. I liked that. That was really cool. Okay, I'm going to have you look around. Okay, there's absolutely nothing here. It was worth exploring, though, just in case. I wanted to make sure. You always got to check these things. Always got to look in the little nooks and crannies and scour dungeons for just that tiny hit. Because you never know, there might be a key there that you need. This game's actually been pretty good at making sure that we have all the keys that we need. It's been really good at that. Other games, not so good at that. Really not so good at that. I'm looking at you, Descent to Under Mountain. I'm looking at you for many things, Descent to Under Mountain. Yes! Yeah, that's right. Right, up we go. Of course. Evades the effects. Well done, Iona. Well done. So this leads to... A wide open area. That's got enemies. Back up, back up, back up. Go here, go here, go here. Oh, you're already attacking Narathana. I'm here. Excellent, go for it. Go for it. Attack Narathana. We'll even give you a flame arrow to help out. Oh, they have magic resistance. Well, that's unfortunate. So they have the golem magic resistance combined with the vulnerability to fire. Darn it. That's very unfortunate. Oh, well. Still prevailed. So over here is probably a grand total of... What? Oh, no. Two more. Right. Two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Right. Get there. Ready. I want you to fireball. No, I want you to melt my new meteors again. And I want you to tank those hits. There we go. Do that. And another flame arrow. Yep, again, magic resistance. Didn't help there. Okay. That's... Ooh. You're not doing well health-wise, but I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. What would you have Still have five more. Give me a go cast. forward. Yes. Go forward. Go back. We should be able to finish you off now. It will be done. A few hits, and you're gone. Yes. Woo. That was close. That was close. What is it? A little too close. We could be doing a lot better with uh, a ton of buffing before every fight, but. The amount of progress we're making makes up for it. There will, of course, be times when we absolutely need to buff before a fight. Boss fights in particular, and fights in the last chapter. Because, oh my, fights in the last chapter are no joke. Oh, they are no joke. But hopefully we'll be all right. I don't know why you're there, but, uh... Oh, dear! That is... A really, really, 
really bad thing to what just spawn in. I mean, we're at full health. However, no, no, move. Your high armor class is the only thing that's saving you right now. Good news, we were able to distract you long enough that we could just kill you. Also, 14,000 uh, kill is still nothing to shake your fist at. I mean, you're quite a ways away from a level, and so are you, and you're not. You're very close. Cannot rest. Rest now. Excellent. And now we save. Was there a question mark there? There was. Ah, okay. It's something we've already seen. Okay. Anything up here? No. Anything here? A trap that Magda's just saved on. That one we didn't save on. Go back to finding traps. The traps are becoming many. And, and annoying. Creep forward. Oh! Stop! What? Stop! Simple Stop! Understood. Hey, you need me? I got gotcha. you. <laughs> that was close. I am needed. That was really close. Excellent! You didn't resist it that yes. time. This will make this fight a lot easier. That made I... the fight infinitely I'm easier. Here. Another 14k I... experience of the party. Yeah, this just leads up to here. I thought it would. We are definitely being funneled. There's not really a way that we can not go where we're being told to go. Icewind Dale is a lot more linear than Baldur's Gate, and that also comes about in the dungeon design. Okay, here... Yeah, we're getting closer to the latter parts of this uh, level of the dungeon. I don't know how many levels of the dungeon there are, though. Hi! Okay. This is bad, but you're both attacking Nerathana. This is good. And also bad, because, you know, we don't want Nerathana to die. Okay, go for it. Oh, there are three. Let's go to work. Right, there are three of you. We absolutely need to focus on killing them one at a time. As quickly Oh, there are four! Okay, this is what's called a problem. So we actually need to change our spell to be haste. Haste is going to be a very important spell here. Change targets. Okay, good. You managed to get that off. You need to distract. You need to fire off a magic missile here. To whittle this one down. Okay, you don't need to fire on that one now. You now need to fire on this one. And you three hit here. Oh, oh, did you see that? I think that was a Remoraz. I believe that was a Remoraz. Oh, stop that. Also, core is leveled. Excellent. Change target. Stop attacking my bard. My bard does not have the AC for this. We need to move you forward. So that we don't have you attacked by whoever's sneaking up behind us. That was not fun. Four of them was not Speak. fun, but with a little bit of, like, shuffling around, we managed to prevail. There was definitely something else there, though. There was absolutely something else there. And I think we need to go and confront whatever's there. But first, level up and a level 7 spell. There we go. Okay. Regeneration is the spell we now have. Impervious Sanctity of Mind. They are now immune to when this is cast. Uh, charm, confusion, fear, feeble mindedness, hold, sleep, maze, berserk, and intoxication. There's also Shield of the Archons, which is ridiculous. It like absorbs spells. It it's a uh, arcane spell that is in divine form, effectively. There's also Finger of Death. There is uh, we we want impervious sanctity of mind though. We want. That spell. Yes. That is a spell Wait, we want. There is, is another all? enemy over here, though. I saw you. Oh, there you are. I'm here. Oh, hi. I mean, if you're just gonna stand there, I'll kill you. I wonder why you can't pathfind to me. Huh. 
either way. I mean, I'll just slay you. Takes a lot of arrows. Oh. Hello. Kosuth's blood. The fire, the god of fire, Kosuth, rarely takes physical form in the realms. On those rare occasions when he does, however, destruction lies in his wake. He was summoned in 801 DR by a large collection of faithful followers who plead that they needed their god's aid to defeat a colossal octopus threatening a temple on the coast. Kosuth appeared in a gigantic bonfire and did battle with the enormous supernatural beast. The god's avatar triumphed over the octopus, but the monster did manage to damage Kosuth's essence. The divine fire raced through the creature's body and lodged in one of the creature's eyes, quickly transforming it into a bizarre black sphere lit by flame within. All casting times reduced by two. All damage, fire damage inflicted by the character is increased by 20%. Uh, yeah. This thing I've not been using, goodbye that! Uh, yeah, we want to be able to cast even faster. Oh boy! That's ridiculous! I'll take it! Ready. I'll right take here. it! And so, when we come back, folks, we have an awesome thing that means that you cast Ready. even faster than you used to. Oh my, that's ridiculous. And we haven't found the seer yet, but I feel like we will soon. I feel like we will soon. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.